Hey, 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 hey. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing today? I pray that all is well. I don't know where I should be looking. Yep, in the car, getting ready to go home. It's going to be a very short video. Yep, I thought I'd get on here to um, ask you guys, how is your Tuesday going? Yep, I went to Wally World and purchased me some uh, stone wash, I call them pedal pushers. You remember them pedal pushers back in the day? Yeah, I don't remember that. Uh, capris, they're a little bit longer. The legs a little longer than capris. You roll them up, we call them pedal pushers. I ain't that old, y'all. Yep, so um, I'm going to go and enjoy my break. And actually, I took off this afternoon. But we'll see. It's like up in the air because I do have some, uh, I do have a family member that's in town. And they may come by and visit. Yep, so that would be nice, huh? Maybe we could take them out to dinner or something. I don't know. Because I sure didn't cook nothing. And I wasn't planning on cooking nothing either. Y'all like my nails? Oh. Excuse my hand. That's all from the hand sanitizer and the wipes and stuff, y'all. Ooh, I'm getting so sick of that. I know we got to keep our hands clean. But you know what? Speaking of cleaning your hands... I really believe that this is where this junk probably originated from because there's some people out there that don't wash their hands, boo. Yeah, go use the bathroom, don't wash their hands, touching on doors and tables and ink pens and stuff, and they think that's all right. I heard a girl, uh, one of the ladies on uh, The View, let me think, let me think. Yeah, one of the ladies on The View when, um, uh, I believe that's when Tamar was one of the, what you call them, co-hosts there. And they was talking about hand washing. And one of the Asian girls, she said that, I don't know if she Asian or Hispanic or what, but she had said that uh, point blank. That she didn't wash her hands when she come out the bathroom. She said when she at home. Let me quote. She didn't wash her hands when she come out the bathroom. Because she was like, uh, it ain't touch nothing. That's what the tissue is for. And everybody's like, oh, my God. And they were like, uh -uh, we ain't eating nothing you done made. We don't want you touching on nothing. And she was like, well... And see, I think that if you do it at home, you're going to do it out too. Okay? Because I have seen co-workers come out the bathroom and done wash their hands. And knowing, as women, you we know what you're doing in the bathroom, you know. If we're in there long enough, I'm like, you take a dump and you come out and you don't wash your hands, girl. That's nasty. We supposed to do everything girly. That's nasty. Hell to the north. Hell to the north, honey. I don't care if it ain't no soap in there. I'm wipe, running some water on my hand, and when I get to my car, my purse, I got hand sanitizer in my purse. I'm gonna use the hand sanitizer. Yes. Especially of us to have nails. Baby, and especially we got them long nails. Honey, I'm going to tell you. I've been there and done that. And it's kind of hard to wipe in spots. When you got them long, doggone nails, honey. You can't apply the pressure. <laughs> Think about it. It's for real, child. Like Denzel Washington said, it's the little things. It's the little things that we don't do that cause us to get sick. It ain't about no COVID. It's hepatitis, 
all this other junk out here. Jai. What, Mercer? Oh, how many, how many people in your family came home from the hospital with Mercer? Why did they get it? Because some nurse, some nasty doctor up in there wore them gloves and went from patient to patient to patient. I seen it done. When I laid up in the hospital, I had to get on the nurse and the doctor. Babe, you gonna come in my room with some gloves on? Take them gloves off, get your tail over to the sink, and wash your hands. Now, if I was in the state that uh, I wasn't aware of what's going on around me, then that's different. But as long as I'm aware, honey, that's where the problem is. People don't want to wash their hands. They nasty. They nasty. Do I wash my hands every time I use the bathroom at home? Yes, I do. Honey, I make sure, honey. I get that big bottle of hand sanitizer soap. I fill them soap bottles up. Honey, I got two of them on my sink. Yes. Every bathroom, even on the kitchen sink, honey. Yes. And I got two big bottles of hand sanitizer. Yes. Uh huh. Because, hey, it was once upon a time ago I had a stomach infection, y'all. Yep, I had a stomach infection. And, you know, you have to go to the doctor and uh, give them one of them specimens. And I ain't talking about no TT neither. Yeah, you had to give them a specimen. And, honey, my test came back where you got such and such and such. I'm like, what in the world is that? Well, it comes from somebody not washing their hands. You could have got it at a restaurant. You could have got it in your own home. You could have got it at uh, one of your friend's house, at the movie house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what, honey? When that man told me. He gave me the long word for it. But when he gave me the short word for it, I ain't gonna even tell y'all. Because, honey, it'll make you sick by me telling you. Okay? I could have passed out, y'all. I could have passed out. I'm like, oh, my God. How wretched. How wretched can people be? And honey, let me tell you. Honey, I stepped up the, the cleansing game. Everybody in the house, honey, I went commando. I went uh, sergeant, corporal, general pain in the house. I'm like, uh-uh. I mean, I was like, on military duty, doing recon missions, honey. Yeah, everybody in the house better wash their damn hands. That's right. Wash your hands when you get up in the morning. Wash your hands when you come out that before you come out that bathroom. You better wash your hands when you come in the house, honey. And and you know what? For for years, I wouldn't let nobody wash their hands in my kitchen sink. For years. I'm like, honey, but now since it's just me and my son, and just us two in the house, and I try not to keep no dishes in the sink, I let them go over there and out and me and him, you know, but I keep uh a bottle of bleach spray, and I keep, I buy these little bleach tablets, because I don't like buying them big old uh, bleach bottles. I get the uh, Clorox spray, and that's some strong stuff, y'all. Ain't nothing but a bottle of bleach. I get that, and I spray my inside of my sink down and stuff, and honey, yeah. So I think that that's where all this come from, because... You know what goes on in your house. You know what goes on with your kids and stuff. You know how they take care of their personal hygiene and stuff. You know, sometimes people get up in the morning and they don't even want to brush their own damn teeth. 
And I just go to talking and talking. I'm like, yeah. People come to work, be all up in your face. No, they ain't brush their teeth. Let alone wash their face. Okay? I'm like, and then ask me this. Answer me this. Put it in the comment section. <clears throat> Let me get some water. Why do women get so intimidated by yeah, that, well, that water keep popping on it? Get so intimidated by other women. They get so freaking jealous. Why? Whether it be the way you wear your makeup, what kind of earrings you have on. How you dress, okay? Just because you decide to to, to um, get your nails done, keep your nails on point, keep your makeup on point, keep your hair, whether it's a wig or whatever it is, you know? You keep yourself on point. Why other women don't like that? Why they be hating? Why they be hating? They don't know what you go through at home. To create all of this. You know. They don't know what you got to go through. To buy your clothes. They don't know if you goodwilling. They don't know if you thrifting. They don't know if somebody is donating to your closet. Or you donating to somebody else's closet. Why do women hate that? They look at you honey. And roll their eyes at you. And look at you up and down. Like they can cut you with a knife. Uh uh. Honey. We was all beautifully and wonderfully made in God's eyes. God created us beautiful. We do things, we can do things men can't do. Okay? So, we just because we don't know one another, we should respect one another because, hey, we, we all have a birth canal. Rather, it's open or closed. Okay? So we all should learn how to respect one another. You know, don't get mad at me because I wear blue eyeshadow and you got red on. Oh, I draw my eyebrows on and you went and got yours tattooed on and they mess yours up. Don't get mad at me. So look at here, y'all. <laughs> y'all get this and look, check this video out. You know, send me a comment. Let me know why women act like that. They get in huddles, they get to run their mouth, get to talking about one another, talking about Sue, Sally, and Annie. I don't know why they do that. You know, if you're doing that, keep your damn mouth closed. Okay? Mind your own business. You know, sweep around your own front door. <laughs> yeah. So, y'all, I got to get out of here. Uh, my break, I was trying to kill time before I clock out. So now I did that. So now it's time for me to roll out. Okay. You guys have a blessed day. Enjoy your Tuesday. And I will see you in another video soon. Later, babies.